Hello, I am not an enemy. Am friend, very wow. Please to disregard my presence, I am not a fed. Who said anything about me being a fed? I love the Tim Pool, can I offer you a keto muffin? I am much for freedom. Let us excrete momentum, be random. Uh, what the hell was that? You were supposed to take pictures. Why in God's name are you dressed like that? It's a disguise. I'm dressed as Corn Pop Holio. <sniffs> know what I mean? If anyone is watching this vlog, please help me. This is the People's Wall, now lay barren of conformity and blandness, and it will soon transform into uh, what I hope to be something pretty cool and awesome, but it's not going to be easy since, of course, I have a lot of posters that you guys sent me that I'm gonna have to put up on this wall. We get fan mail at the house. People could send specific mail to specific individuals. And I said, whatever you guys send me, I will put on my wall. I'm keeping my promise today. I have actually started organizing it and it's a lot. So it's gonna be interesting to see the transformation of this wall into your wall. So uh, organizing all of this is not easy. Um, but I'm thinking there's like four major art pieces that I really, really like. This one, this one, and uh, Mr. Bill Clinton in the blue dress. Very famous photo that everyone should know about. If you know about it, you know how corrupt and absolutely disgusting our whole political, social, economic system really is. And then of course that beautiful uh, kind of landscape painting. So I think having all four of those and then kind of gelling it in somehow, I think that's going to be the easiest. I, I think this is pretty cool, but can I put it together successfully where it looks nice? I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do this. very hard on the amazing art you guys sent me. I really appreciate it. Everything came together very well. I kept the creepy stuff, the, the Biden sniffing, and the, the famous Jeffrey Epstein photo of Bill Clinton in the blue dress. On the left side, I don't really want that kind of juju, especially over me when I sleep. When I do sleep, I, of course, I decided to have, you know, the angel and the saint, Dr. Ron Paul, uh, Lech Valenza, and a lot of comedy greats that someone sent me the photo of. Some of these photos are even uh, autographed, like Norm MacDonald, someone who sent me photos of Atlas. A picture of Jesus holding an, a, an uh, AR-15 over there. Let's go Brandon Chad. That's the kind of positivity aspect here, right below me as I go to sleep. The weird, creepy stuff is of course centered here, but uh, also very prolific. So I, I, I put up everything. When I said everything, everything that I got from you guys, I put up. Um, including the Photoshop of me in this photo, which I wasn't happy that was sent to me. But yes, it is, it is even hung up right here. Uh, just so I keep, I'm a, I keep my word. I'm a man of the people. So technically it's still up. It might not be up where you like it, but it is up, but overall, when I take a look at it, I'm like, this came out really well. I thought this was gonna be a disaster. I thought this was gonna come out really horribly, but everything just worked perfectly like a Lego set. Everything just went into its own particular place. 
and fit perfectly. When I shoot my videos from here, we'll be able to, of course, see all of your art that you guys contributed to this uh, kind of mural piece, not a mural piece, what do you call it when you got a whole bunch of art put together? A collage. Yeah, you guys are a part of a collage uh, that's gonna be the background of my videos, which I think is really freaking cool. This is one of the best pieces that we got, which is also really cool that I'm just waiting to connect to uh, LED lights, but it's kind of standing here on its own, which I think is pretty cool. So thank you so much for the person who sent me this. It's really, really awesome. This came out better than I thought. I, I, you know, I was like, oh crap, this is gonna look like someone just puked all over the wall, but it came out way better than I thought, so I'm really happy. Now, here is the, the piece de la resistance, which I think is the best piece that was sent to me that is not on the wall, but it is still technically uh, hanging in my room. And let me take you and, and show you exactly where that is. This is, of course, the front door to the Beanie Castle. And uh, as people come through the front door to the Beanie Castle, they, of course, will be gre greeted by Lola, the, the bunny. <laughs> In the beginning. <laughs> that someone sent to me. It, it, everything you guys sent me is up. Tim can't be mad at me. There was no more room on my wall. This is the perfect place, I think. I'm sure Chris is gonna really like it. I mean, this is just, it, it just fits. There it is. Yeah, so we can look at the, the uh, whatever's going on in the news events of the day over here. This camera should be over here. It looks like the scene from The Matrix, where you enter the world that is not the fake holographic one projected to you, and you see a whole bunch of wires and cables everywhere. This That's is what it. Going for, yeah. This is it. What kind of HDMI input did you use for that? What do you mean? How did you get the signal from the TV to here? Oh, um, there's just a little splitter. These two monitors each have their own splitter, and so what's going to this monitor is also going to that one that Tim has, and then. This one has a splitter that goes to the other one that Tim has in the TV. So Woody has full control here. And then Tim can take over control anytime he wants. Mm -hmm. And then this is Tim's seat here. He has his own stream deck. Oh, so he could also manipulate it too. This is the headphone distro. It's gotta be here, otherwise I need like fucking 20 more cables that we don't have right now. We could probably put it underneath the desk. Yeah, I was thinking about mounting them like upside down right there, but not ideal with this particular desk. Well, let's hope everything stays together for the ride there. Well, it's going to be some assembly required on the other side. Because if, if you know anything about RV life, <laughs> everything breaks down every time you take a trip. So just be prepared to be ready to like fix something. Everything that's not bolted onto the wall and some of the things that are bolted onto the wall are going to be taken off. Like these mics, obviously, you can't stay here. And these lights are pretty bright. I feel like um, the picture that we get with these set up looks much better. This looks pretty decent. It doesn't look too bad. The preliminary plan that I heard is you guys leaving Thursday, and then me, Tim, Lydia, and Ian will be flying. I still need change. to get power figured out and apparently this New Jersey guy is not coming. It's running okay now. Well, this is all power from the house. Yeah, not that's what we're gonna do. Don't expect us to be mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere and rely on the RV power. It's not gonna be needed. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be at uh, the studio and the studio is gonna have a big ass cable. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna connect it out just like we have here. So we'll be fine no matter what. I'm really excited about the road trip too. I'm gonna fly. I'm not gonna help you, you drive. I already drove cross country. That was great. That was not very fun. It's just Tim yelling at me for like 20 hours. It's like 25 to drive from New Jersey to Joe Rogan's studio in California. Yeah, so that wasn't Texas. 25? Yeah, I think it was 25 or 26. All the way across the country. That's why I was like, yeah, I'm excited for you guys. Have fun. It'll be great. Because I'm going to see if the studio is like ready for Oh, you are flying down. Yeah, I think so. Wind is really scary, but it's it's not it's not a serious problem. Like, you're not going to get blown over like you feel like you're going to get blown over. The trailer's going to be loaded front heavy, so it can't fish to Oh, yeah. That would be good. Okay. It'll be good. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's just long. 
drove to um, Wyoming um, in, a, in an RV, yeah. and the wind was so crazy. It like every like mile there was like a gust that I was sure was gonna blow it over. Actually, yeah. And that was it through Wyoming like that yeah. too. It's, it's not flat. fun. And that was um, that was a lot heavier wind than we'll probably see on this trip. 